right now it's time to implement user registration on the backend side and then integrate it to the front end side so we need to add a user register serializer a user register view updates a url stuff file file uh, basically our routes and uh, just quickly test it in the backend side so let's let, let's start um mm -mm -mm. so uh, we need to Where's all uh, users? Yeah, right. I will just close it all. And uh, in the users folder, uh, let's just quickly uh, serializers.py and um, <laughs> and use 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 right the use pi. So we need we are going to uh, implement register user serializers uh, to serialize and deserialize our uh, register user uh, model and so basically we are going to import uh, the get user model from contrib else it will return uh, our user model and also uh, for uh, for our uh, password uh, validation uh, password validation and val unique validator we are going to make some imports here so from this framework validators there's a unique validator and the password validation uh, to validate uh, the password uh, basically it's going to be used in um, <laughs> yeah let, let's see uh, and quickly implements a register user serializer we are going to use uh, the model serializers that's why we need to import uh, the serializers from the rest framework and let's just quickly uh, start to implement this uh, for our email field in order to register our users of course it should be unique so uh, there is a serializers email field uh, which is required and unique validator uh, for our uh, as, as our email validator so this uh, will ensure that our uh, email is not uh, used uh, by someone by someone else else uh, so, so for passwords as there's so, uh, i'm going to uh, uh, add the validator as a validated password and it's write only true and required true uh, that means that it's not going to be sent back to the um, to the user uh, for class meta uh, let's just quickly show it for class meta I'm going to use the get user model it is a user model for uh, for our uh, uh, for our model uh, as a field we have four fields uh, this is the email password first name and the last name and of course we need to add some extra uh, keyword uh, arguments here uh, which is uh, can simplify our um, our life so this is a basically write uh, only true and the minimum length of the password will be eight and uh, also i need uh, the first name and last name as a required field uh, how about uh, the validation itself? Um, <laughs> where, where, where? Ah, no, uh, nothing remains uh, besides this uh, create uh, method. So I don't have this uh, phone number and email, right? Uh, so self meta model is basically calling this uh, get user model. So we are going to create a user with email, first name and last name and set the password uh, from the validated data and then user the save. So uh, 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 call the user dot save. It will create our user. This is a basically our registration serializer. This is a unique validator. There's a validate password for our uh, password validation. And also, also, also the class meta uh, for uh, necessary fields and a minimum length for the password and the create uh, uh, user this will do the actual create yeah uh, that should work now uh, let's get quickly go to the views and uh, create our view uh, for for the case of uh, uh, the simplicity for our uh, simplicity uh, i'm going to use a uh, create api view uh, from the generics uh, so uh, this is from the REST framework generics import create API view and quickly create the um, register view. 
Mm, this will use the create API view and get user models. Of course, we need to import this thing um, contrib -os, from contrib -os. Uh, allow any. Uh, it should be. Um, uh, it should become from uh, service framework permissions. Um, where is it? Right. Uh, it has uh, is authenticated and allow any. So basically, everybody sh should be able to register, of course, in our uh, website. And uh, from serializers in, oops, import. Of import register user serializer. That's it for our register user view. So that's simple. Uh, I assume that it's okay. Oh no. oh no, the main thing is like we need to add some URLs.py file here. Um, let's just quickly URLs.py and uh, import. First of all, the path from the Django URLs and uh, from the views, from uh, right from a views uh, import register user view. Yes, and uh, it should be URL patterns uh, for our path. I'm going to call it register and. Uh, Call this register view as view uh, as view right and name it as um, register. We have implemented the serializer for our uh, user model. We have implemented view for our registration uh, registration serial using registration serializer. We have added the register endpoint to the URLs, but we still to need to add this mm -hmm. add this here so let's just mm, quickly um, yeah it, it should be I assume like it should be uh, API v1 and then uh, the include include um, this uh, apps users URL uh, not apps yeah, your uh, users dot urls p y. Um, let's just quickly, 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 quickly. Uh, let's see if any migrations here. No, and run server. Where is the run server? Nice. Let's just quickly check it. And API one. Oops, API one, and it should be register nice and clean so now we are able to uh, we need we should able to register for our, uh, uh, our first user uh, let's just uh, I don't know let's keep keep this uh, pick this uh, email and let's just quickly type some password uh, but why the password field is shown I don't know um, let's just quickly and check post uh, this password is too common. This password is entirely numeric, so we have uh, activated uh, the built-in validation as well for our password field. So um, I assume like this one should be okay. Uh, unique constraint users uh, username um, integrity error users username was the direct count of the following. Mm. We have disabled, uh, in fact, we have disabled our, why they require, uh, why they require the username. Well, let's uh, pause or stop here uh, and uh, I will fix it and come back uh, with the update video after that. Yeah, see you in the next video. Oh, where's the stop?